Welcome to NitroRCX.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at some UDI RC remote controlled boats. We have the smaller one called the Bullet and a larger one called the Temple. They're offered in green and blue for the Temple and yellow and white for the Bullet. The transmitter does have some cool features such as low battery warning. Uh, an alarm will sound if the boat battery runs low and an alarm will sound if you run out of 2.4 gigahertz frequency range. Out the box, they're ready to run with lithium batteries. As you see, you have lithium batteries for both boats. The larger boat takes a 1500 7.42 cell. The smaller boat is a single cell, uh, 650 milliamp hour. Also comes with a USB charger. Both boats come with a spare prop and a manual for you to read through. So with that out of the way, let's take a closer look at the larger boat. So the one we're looking at now is the Tempo. This is the larger of the two boats. As you can see, beautiful design. Uh, plastic construction, you have a quick release for the cover, pull that off, you can see that it has raised edges so that water doesn't run into the electronics area. See here, starting from the servo, that is a dedicated micro-sized servo for the rudder steering controls. You have your battery holder right down here. You can see the cooling system over here on that 390 size brushed motor. The water pickup actually is right here, it's down the hole on the bottom which we'll show you later. Water picks up, circulates through the motor, and then spits out on the side of the hole right here. Um, you have your battery connection, your speed controllers up front. Everything's nice and low on the hole, so it has a lower center of gravity, and it's nicely put together inside. Let's take a look at the back of the boat, the steering mechanism. You can see the rudder right there. Uh, you have a prop system, and you have trim tabs on the left and right to aid in steering. On the bottom of the hole, you'll see the water pickup for the motor cooling. You're also gonna see a little screw down here. That's actually a ground screw. That is part of that safety protection so that when the boat's not in water, the boat's not grounded, the props will not come on and you have a less of a chance to accidentally hit the throttle and cut yourself. That covers the tempo. Let's take a closer look at the smaller bullet. All right, this is the bullet. You can see it's a small of a two, almost half size. Bullet's nice and sleek design. Let's pop open the top cover and see what's inside. Once you move the top cover, you can see the top cover is a little designed differently than the larger boat. You use a kind of a foam rubbery gasket on the top there to keep the water out. And it's also raised so that water doesn't get into the crucial electronics area. This one, you're looking at a 190 size brushed motor. You still have motor cooling. Water pickup is in the same place on the bottom of the hole, which we'll show you. Runs through it, spits out the side right there to cool the motor. Dedicated micro size servo, which is awesome. Remember guys, these are 2.4 gigahertz on both boats, very low chance of interference on your frequency. You can see similar to the larger Tempo, you have trim tabs on the left and right for, to aid in steering. Uh, you have the prop that is at a fixed angle and you have a steering uh, mechanism, your, your rudder on the back. Let's take a look at the bottom of the hole here. On the bottom, you'll see the same water pickup a little hole right here with a little scoop to aid in water pickup. You'll see that ground screw, as we mentioned earlier, for the safety mechanism. And on the side right here, you can see the water exit for the motor cooling. All right, so that pretty much covers it up for the out the box and the accessories and features for the Temple and Bullet from UDIRC. Let's show you guys some footage of these things in action. All right, so we're here at a little pond. Uh, the boats are in the water. They do need to be in the water for them to work. Uh, there is a water sensor as detailed in the manual on, on the boat themselves. So if you plug in the battery uh, on the bench or on a table and it's not working, that's because it does need to be in the water. All right, so the water pickup's working pretty well. You can see the water squirting out the side of the hole here. Pretty sharp turns. This is full lock on the turn, so that it is. Uh, you do get pretty sharp turns. So you can see the water's kind of choppy. Uh, but the boat actually does okay. Let me get closer to you. <laughs> All 
Get them crashing. And hey, let's play chicken. All right, we have the two little bullets out, the yellow and the white one. Pretty, pretty quick for a single cell. Not as fast as the bigger ones, but still pretty fun. Motor cooling is working pretty good. Uh, the bullet seems a little bit more agile than the larger uh, tempo. It turns quicker. Uh, but you do have a bigger motor in the bigger boat and it's a lot quicker. Small boat's perfect for pools. You can set up an obstacle course, a race course in a pool. It does turn very precisely. Water's a bit choppy out here. It is windy. But it's still doing pretty good. All right, so the transmitter sounds an alarm that notifies you that your boat is low on battery power. Once you hear it, you do still have a couple more minutes, maybe a couple more seconds. Uh, basically, it's a low voltage threshold for the lithium battery. Uh, you do want to pull it in so you don't get stuck out in the water. All right, guys, that was the quick look at the Bullet and the Tempo boats from UDIRC. Pretty awesome boats, glad to see that they're making boats and we hope to see more awesome boats from UDIRC. Be sure to subscribe and check out all our other awesome videos for more detailed inspects. Head on over to nitrorcx.com. Thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you guys next time.